Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my beauty room. So today we're gonna do a shop with me video or shop my stash, I guess. We're gonna go through my makeup. This is what my beauty room currently looks like. I finally put this up. I definitely need to add some decor in here because it's looking a little plain. But anyways, that is not what today's video is about. I got distracted, it's always okay. We're gonna shop my stash, new and old makeup. I really wanna play with the Lust for Dusk palette from ColourPop, so I already have that in mind. I have my bin. If you enjoy this type of content, definitely subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if I should continue to do these, maybe like once a month or something like that, just to kind of switch up the content. Anyways, grab your cafecito or whatever you're sipping on today and let's go ahead and jump with today's video and let's shop my stash. I'm gonna go in order just because my brain works best that way. So let's go in with primers. Okay, primer for today. Honestly, uh, I'm a creature of habit and I want to use my Tarte primer because this is just, it's the it girl right now. But, 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 we are gonna switch it up just for the sake of today's content. We're gonna try to keep it all drugstore. Let's do that. I feel like I haven't done a drugstore video in quite some time. So let's go in with the Maybelline Perfecto 4 in 1, the Whip Matte Makeup. This one is actually pretty bomb and it keeps me matte all day. So we got a primer. We're gonna move on over to foundation. Miss Cleo is taking a nap. She's always here with me. Um, so for foundation, honestly, you guys, I really want to use the, uh, what's it called? L'Oreal Infallible Otra Vez because I love this foundation. But for the sake of trying like newish drugstore makeup, let's let's take this foundation. And I'm going to use the, both of these shades because I do have to mix them in order to get like my perfect shade. So this is the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Foundation. Such a great foundation. And then for concealer, we're gonna move up here. I recently moved all like my products to these little bins so you can get a target and I am obsessed with them. So for concealer, the most full coverage concealer that I own is definitely by J Cat Beauty. So let's try that one. I have a few different shades here. So let's find the one that matches me. I think it's this one, soft tan. So concealer now for my setting powder we're gonna move down here for the setting powder what should we use let's go in with the fit me you cannot go wrong with the fit me loose powder it makes your skin look airbrushed flawless it's amazing and then to set the entire skin I'm gonna take a little powder puff and um, let's go in with Let's go in with this one, the Wet n' Wild Bare Focus. This one's actually really, really good. Now let's move on to the bronzer. I'd like to, like I said, go in these specific steps because you know, I will forget one thing or the other. So for bronzer, let's see, what should we use today? Honestly, there's not a bronzer that I have right now that I love from the drugstore. I do like this one. This one is actually new. I don't think I've used it on camera. I filmed the reels and then I hated it, so I just kind of trashed it. So let's try the Milani concealer. And to set it, let's go in. Do I like this? Oh, this is a highlight. That doesn't go there. Let's use some Morphe bronzer. I haven't used this in some time. Actually, do I want to use that? Let's just go in with this one by L'Oreal. This one's actually pretty good. Not my favorite, but it's a good uh, bronzer. It's just the undertone is not really what I go for. Now let's go in with blush. You guys, I still haven't picked up the Juvia's blushes. You guys need to remind me because I am so forgetful. Let's go in with a Koki blush. I haven't used one of these in quite some time. I'm gonna go for this one because I do want to create more of a fall vibe. And I'm not gonna use the cream blush, I'm just gonna stop 
right there. And then for my highlighter, what should we use for highlight? This one is by Milani and it's new as well. Let's use this one. Even though it's a cream highlight, but you can also use it as a like topper on top of your foundation. So we got that. And then the palette. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, I need to go through my palettes and uh, get rid of some that I don't use. I also have this one. I did a tutorial using the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice uh, second slice on my Instagram reel. So if you guys want to check it out, follow me in the description box down below. But for today, we're going to go in with the Lust Dusk palette. Look at this beauty. I love the neutrals. It's such a fall vibe. So I'm definitely going to use that. And then for, let's see, the eye primer. Let's go in with, of course, the NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer. And so let's go down here. I got a PR from Kiss and they sent a bunch of lashes. I honestly kind of want to use these. So let's either, let's grab these. And let's grab these in case I change my mind. We'll see which ones look best with the look. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to grab that towards the end because I really don't know how the look is going to turn out. And I just kind of base my looks off of my, or my lipstick off of my eye looks. Welcome to a new view. I wanted to switch things up a bit. I kind of got tired of the old setup. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I need to add a little bit of like decor back there because I feel like it looks a little... A little sad but let me know what you guys think okay let's start off with the eyes I'm gonna start off by priming them using my NYX shadow and liner primer I haven't used this baby in probably a few months and if you guys remember I literally used it every single time I did tutorials and I just I mean I try new things you know it happens especially having this type of job you just try out new things I'm going to start off with the darkest shade in the palette. It's called Serve Chilled. Uh, you know what sounds so good right now? A pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I haven't had one, so it's very much needed. And I'm going to pack this on the outer corners of the eye. Just right here, keeping it right here. It's really pretty and pigmented. It does have a ton of kick up. Talking about ColourPop, you guys, I have the best news to share with you. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been on YouTube for years. I've been on here since almost like Lonnie was born. So that was, what, nine years ago? I have always wanted to be a part of the PR list the from ColourPop. And unfortunately, I was never able to get on it. And I understand, you know, they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people every day wanting to get on their PR list and I would always get so discouraged so I'm like okay maybe one day and you guys the day finally came they reached out to me and uh, I literally just was jumping with joy I was telling my husband I was like oh my gosh I can't believe it like finally they sent me an email and told me that they wanted to send me a PR package so I think I'm officially on their PR list and I cannot be happier. It's taken me this long, but that's okay. That just goes to show you dedication and hard work really does pay off. So I'm gonna move on to my second shade and I think I'm just gonna keep using this brush, just cleaning it off. And I'm gonna take the orange right next to it. I mean, this palette kind of screams fall in itself. So I guess I'm kind of going for a vibe from the palette that one's called after dark and it's just a nice burnt orange and i'm gonna place that into whoa that is pigmented into the inner corner right here just kind of like sandwiching the colors together I know the blending looks a little harsh, but I promise it will all come together. I still haven't bought glitter glue, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of my lash glue. And I'm gonna take some to the back of my hand. And I'm gonna be using two different colors. I'm gonna go in with Night Lovers, which is a really pretty duochrome. And then I'm also gonna use Quiet Storm. 
and I'm gonna use this one on the outer corner and then this one in the inner corner. So I'm gonna take my glue, I'm gonna pat it all over the eye. Ooh, that's nice and tacky really quick. I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow. Ooh, and pack it in there. Oh, that's not a mirror, Karina. And then I'm just tapping in the center so they can, you know, become one. I'm going to see how these lashes play out with this look. These are the Lash Couture Matte Sheer Matte Black Faux Mink Collection Lashes. I have owned these previously and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're definitely very long and dramatic. Just like me well not long i'm short but short and stubby but these are cute so let's see if these will go with today's look i added a little bit of a black gel eyeliner i just felt like this look sort of needed it so let's move on to the skin i'm gonna go in with the maybelline perfector four in one mattifying primer this one is actually really good if you want something that is really not even there um if you just have like uneven skin maybe large pores and oily skin but you don't want to wear foundation you just want something super lightweight this could possibly do the trick because it does it neutralizes the skin it doesn't offer any coverage so for me that's like no no <laughs> so again i am using the revolution irl foundation this one is such a good product or such a good foundation i was gonna say um i have a shade f10 and f12 f10 is too light and f12 is too dark go figure so i'm gonna do a full pump of each I don't know if I will use the full pump, but it just makes sense. Now this claims to be an oil-free foundation, but this one still makes me a little bit oily, which kind of sucks. Even if I use like a mattifying primer, I still get pretty oily throughout the day. Not pretty oily, I guess just more here, like my T-zone area. I do get a little... A little crazy. I'm gonna buff this in a little bit with the Morphe E63 brush. I've been really enjoying this for foundation. I think that's what it's meant for, but I started using it for like cream contour. It works for both, honestly. This foundation offers you a full coverage finish. Well, medium to full coverage, but it's really pretty. It's almost like a satin. I wouldn't say matte, it's like a satin finish. Very skin-like, but with the coverage. Super long-wearing. And it's definitely more for like normal to dry skin. If you have extremely oily skin, um, you probably won't like this. Because like I said, it does make me a little bit oily at the end of the day. I need to touch up my roots so bad. Do you guys see how far they've grown in? I'm probably going to dye it either today or tomorrow. I just, ugh, I hate washing my hair. It's such a process. Talking about hair, you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I was talking to you guys about me thinking going back to black hair. And I think I've kind of chilled with that for now. Um, I was just kind of freaking out because I felt like I was losing so much hair. And I definitely do lose a lot of hair when I use the color depositing conditioner. And it doesn't matter which one I use. Like, I just notice that i shed a ton of hair so instead of using it once a week i'm gonna try to use it once maybe like every two weeks because i definitely notice a difference from when i used it and when i did it uh it was freaking me out but i didn't want to go back to black because i'm like i tried so hard i did all this work all this damage to my super healthy hair for nothing so i'm gonna write it out and just keep an eye on it this little contour is so nice if you guys love the charlotte tilbury contour bronzer this one is supposed to be a dupe for it again i don't own any well i do own one product from charlotte tilbury but i haven't really tried anything else from her like I don't know, no, it's it's not a brand que me llama la atención, you know? It's like, uh, it is what it is, but it's not all that so for me. I know a lot of people love it, but I don't know. I just not really interested. 
For my concealer, I'm going to use the Stations by J Cat Beauty in the shade Soft Tan. This one is super full coverage. And I'm just applying this to the inner parts, the outer corner. I'm going to take a little bit to the forehead and then the nose. I recently bought this brush, you guys, and I am obsessed with it. It is the Sephora Pro Concealer 71 brush, and it is so nice. It's a little expensive. It's like 20 bucks. So what I've been doing is I just tap it in. And then I'm just going to set using that Fit Me powder that we chose. I'm going to set the skin using the Wet n Wild uh, Bare Focus Powder. This one is a little light. Well, not a little light. It's lightweight. But it sets the skin pretty nicely, actually. And it gives you like a really nice soft matte finish. I like to tap it over the brows a little bit just because I do draw them in for most of the part because I literally am bald from my brows. <laughs> Let's hit the skin with a little bit of this bronzer. Let me know what your favorite like drugstore bronzer is because I'm always on the hunt for a good one. I love bronzers. I love buying them, collecting them. Does anybody else get so many spam risk calls? Like literally I get them every single day, todo el día. I know, I get so annoyed with them. I just don't answer anymore. <laughs> For my blush, I'm definitely going to go in with this one. I think it's going to go really well with the look. And I'm mainly going to stick to the bottom. I'm going to take the lipstick and take it in the center and then I'm going to blend it out with a brush. Let's finish the skin and I'm going to take the e.l.f. Stay All Night. Such a good setting or setting powder. <laughs> and that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for getting ready with me and just helping me pick out my makeup. Thank you for shopping my stash. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And also let me know if you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, like this view. I know it's a little plain, but we can, you know, we can add a few things here and there. Or if you guys prefer the old view. I'm kind of feeling this one, honestly. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you. Stay safe. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.